I'm Dan Roscoe alongside Debbie Worthen. We begin tonight with new details on a challenging rescue from earlier this week that left a teenage boy with a serious leg injury. The Utah County Sheriff's Office says a large boulder broke loose and fell onto him. News specialist Brianna Chavez joins us live with more on what officials say was a very technical operation. Brianna. Yeah, Debbie, Dan, we're told this happened up in Spanish Fork Canyon. It's unclear what caused that boulder to fall in the first place, but we're told it took crew members at least three hours to rescue this boy. It's uh, reminiscent of southern Utah, but we're in Utah County. Sergeant Spencer Cannon with the Utah County Sheriff's Office says Red Ledges is a popular hiking and climbing trail. You are at the rocks. It is that simple to access. And while it's not uncommon for search and rescue crews to respond to incidents here. We don't see search and rescue operations as often where the injury is caused by debris falling. This video shows the DPS helicopter rescuing a 16-year-old boy on Friday after a large boulder fell on his leg. And it caused a pretty severe fracture of his femur. A challenging rescue for first responders. It's dangerous for the pilot because it creates essentially a temporary windstorm right on there because of the helicopter. And concerns the boulder or more rocks could fall on crews. It was about a three, three and a half hour operation overall. Sergeant Cannon says over the last week, Utah County search and rescue crews have been busy. It's been a dozen and a half or so, maybe 18 or 20 calls. And while not all of those calls are serious, Sergeant Cannon hopes hikers and climbers alike take extra precautions, reminding everyone their search and rescue crews are trained to help. They are very good at what they do. And we're told that the boy did have surgery yesterday and is recovering. But some other reminders to keep in mind this season, if you're going to be hiking or climbing, make sure that you go prepared, have enough food and water, and make sure you go as a group and just try to carry your cell phone around. There are areas that have cell phone reception, which we're told really uh, came into play when rescuing this boy. Back to you. Yeah, search and rescue very busy this summer. Thanks a lot. Brianna Chavez live for us tonight.